There's a bunch of different reasons why you might want to insert HTML into an email. Uh, you know, for a specific example, you might be blasting out an email list that you have. Uh, you know, another specific example is maybe you want to insert some specific HTML like this into, um, you know, a survey, not a survey, a, um, a CPA marketing lead uh, or CPA marketing offer and you want to blast out a list like that and you don't just want to do like normal email copy like I talk about. You just want to send a specific, you know, CPA offer with the actual HTML. Totally fine. You can do that as well. Some of them won't actually have the HTML in here, but a lot of them will. Um, so that's something to keep in mind. It's all relevant across the board. Now, another specific example that you might want to use this for is uh, Fiverr. Now, I'm on Fiverr right now, and you can see here I have uh, one of my a bunch of the old gigs that I used to to um, do pulled up. We're gonna get into this, and this is a specific example that I'm gonna go through for you here in a second. I'm gonna take this order that somebody put out, and I'm gonna give you an example of how I actually inserted their HTML and then blasted out their email list. So in this specific example, they gave me the HTML and they gave me the um, the email list, and that's what I used to sell. I used to sell email blasts for this specific uh, gig here. Um, and I'm gonna show you how I input the HTML into my Gmail email so that I can blast out that list. So this is something that you can sell on Fiverr as well if you want to, um, you know, or you can do your own stuff. But for specifically today, I wanna show you how to insert HTML into an email, uh, especially on Gmail. It's very, very simple, um, but a lot of people will think it's complicated and it's really not. You'll see that this person uh, ordered a gig where I blast out a, to a thousand people and they wanted their email, their national launch template. They wanted me to send this to uh, this HTML to their email list. And basically what they were doing, here's the HTML, I pulled it up and downloaded it here again, is they were launching a new store and they wanted to blast out their email list um, and let them know that they were launching. So how did I go about doing this? And this is pretty much similar across platforms. The way that you're gonna wanna do it is you're gonna wanna right click on the HTML. So view page source makes it a lot easier. So when you right click, make sure you hit view page source. You can do inspect too, but it just comes up in that small window. So you're gonna wanna hit view page source. That will give you the document and the HTML all together like this. And then you're simply going to go through, well, I don't know why it's jumping on me, um, and you're gonna start at the very, very top outside the first bar and go all the way down and just copy it all the way to the bottom. This is all the HTML that you're interested in. It's written code basically to show this uh, in your email now or on your website or for whatever reason. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna come back into Gmail or you know maybe you're in Yahoo, maybe you're in MailChimp, whatever you're in, whatever your email service, uh, email service provider is, is irrelevant. It's gonna be the same across the board. So you're gonna put in a placeholder. It can be like a bunch of I's, it can be a bunch, you know, it can be a bunch of stars, it can be a bunch of numbers if you want. It doesn't really matter what the placeholder is. It's just something that you're gonna wanna identify when you start going into the inspect element, which is what I'm gonna show you in a second. So then you want to, you just want a bunch of placeholders that you can uh, identify uh, for a reason I'm going to show you in a second. So then highlight them all, right? And you're going to right click on them and then hit inspect this time. And it's going to bring up that side menu for you like we, did, we just showed previously. And then it, a little part of that section is going to be highlighted. You're going to want to right click on that highlighted section and hit edit as HTML. So then it's going to open up this little box that's edit it, editable here. And in that little box, you're gonna to wanna to find your placeholder, whatever that was. Maybe it was a bunch of sixes, maybe it was a bunch of zeros. Whatever your placeholder was, you'll see here, mine's a bunch of stars. You're gonna to wanna to highlight all your placeholder and then simply paste what the HTML that you had copied in to that specific placeholder. So you'll see here that I copied all that, that HTML previously. Now I highlighted the, the placeholder stars and I'm simply gonna paste the HTML in. Then I'm gonna click out and all the HTML will just simply be posted there. So I'm gonna go through another specific example with you here. Um, now, this is an offer I used to market. Um, it's, what's it called? Um, Kevin David's Amazon FBA Ninja course. It's something I talk about a lot and recommend highly if you're into Amazon private labeling. Um, and he has some simple HTML code here, right here, that you know basically just lets you write his words in there and then click on the, the watch the video. So if I wanted to copy this HTML, I would simply just right click, copy. There's no pictures here. You can see that there's still code here. Um, and then simply you wanna go back to, where is this? Not that, I'm all over the place. And then you're not just gonna wanna simply paste it in. That's a mistake that a lot of people make. If you paste it in, regardless whether it's this or it's the other one that I just did, it's just gonna come up like this in the email. So what you're simply gonna to wanna to do is you're on another placeholder, right? Highlight, right click, inspect it, 
and then go back in, like I said, edit as HTML in that highlighted area, and then find your placeholder yet again, and paste it in. Then click out, and it'll all be in there clickable like it was there. So the only time you're ever gonna right click on a page thing, like the, um, or sorry, let me just pull it up real fast to show you. If I download this again, um, and then we pull this up, the only time you're ever gonna inspect the element like I showed you is when it's like a picture and you wanna extract the HTML out. You'll see here with his, um, his is actually just words and it's HTML code, so you don't need to actually extract it because you can simply copy it. And in a lot of the uh, CPA offers, like if you are on, you know, Max Bounty or Peerfly or whatever, um, and they have the email marketing offers already in HTML code, you're not gonna have to do this but you are gonna have to paste it in with your placeholders like I showed you. So that's really, really easy. The only time, like I said, you're ever gonna inspect it or, or view the page source to actually get the HTML is when it's a HTML out, excuse me, is when it's a, uh, an actual picture and you need to extract that out of the picture. 